Labeling is always tricky. And the 2014 code 690.53 calls out for a PV system characteristics label. Specifically, they want to know what the VOC, VMP, ISC, and IMP of the system is. SolarEdge is a little tricky in the fact that we don't have a VOC. The VOC is your open circuit voltage, and it is recorded for SolarEdge as our safe DC, which is one volt per optimizer. That doesn't tell us very meaningful safety information. So instead of VOC and ISC, we are going to write VMAX and IMAX. The VMAX for a solar edge inverter can be found on the spec sheet. For this inverter here, the 7.6 kilowatt HD wave, the VMAX is listed as 480 volts DC. The VMP is also listed on the spec sheet as 400 volts DC. The IMAX takes a little bit of calculation. Because the optimizer can output up to 15 amps, but no more, we need to account for how many strings we're putting inside the inverter. In this example, we have two strings. So our IMAX is gonna be listed as 30 amps. The last and most tricky calculation is the IMP. You're required to do a calculation and a lookup and choose the lower of the two values. So let's do our calculation first. We need to find our system current. So you take your system power at STC and divide it by your voltage at maximum power. So in this example, we took our system, which was 10,675 watts, divided by our voltage at maximum power, which is 400 volts DC, and we find 26.7 amps. Then we do our lookup, and our lookup says for the 7.6 HD wave inverter, we have a maximum input current rating of 20 amps. We choose the lower of the two values and we put 20 on our label. The inverter will current limit the system and never exceed 20 amps. In the 2017 code, this label requirement changed just a bit. We are no longer required to put the VMP on the label. So all we need is VMAX, IMAX, and IMP. Labeling for rapid shutdown changed a little bit in the 2017 code. The label you see here, solar PV system equipped with rapid shutdown, turn the rapid shutdown switch to the off position to shut down the PV system and reduce shock hazard in array, tells the first responder that there is less than 80 volts under the array. For additional information and access to more in-depth tutorials, go to solaredge.com, select login and e-learning to get access to the library of SolarEdge learning materials.